Hello there, you amazing viewers and subscribers, and welcome to a new Doctor Who topic video for today. So, for this video, it is it's very rarely when I do two videos a day, but this one's to explain why I re got season 24 on Blu ray. Now, last year, when I ordered my season 24, it came damaged from Amazon. I mean, we have literally like a dent here, then there's a dent. Is, is, is it showing the camera? Yeah, as you can see, it's got a dent here and a dent there, and the disc tray fell out. So when I tried to glue the disc tray back in, it didn't go well for when I tried to glue it back in. Look, and it doesn't look right being in a mess. Yeah, my season eight box set came damaged as well when I ordered that one last year as well, but. It's not too badly damaged, then you've got like a little dent, but this one, the dish tray fell out, and of course, it was damaged there by Amazon when I delivered it. But, I went to a local store here in the UK called CEX in my local town, Shrewsbury, and for £28, I picked up Doctor Who, the collection, season 24, undamaged. The dish tray is still connected up to the little suckery bit, so it's not even damaged. So I managed to pick up a nice, clean, decent copy of Season 24 when my one became came a bit damaged and stuff. And the best thing I have to say about this is I'm keeping the two. I'm really keeping the two because I, I spent a lot of money on this one and less money on this one. And these are limited edition. So I'm very, very lucky that I'm as, well, as Netflix, bleh, so as CEX was actually selling this season pretty cheap where when I've been into the Telford store here in the UK I've seen seasons 23 for 40 pounds I've seen t season 14 for 70 pounds season 12 for 70 pounds so I'm not really going to moan about spending 28 pounds on a decent box set when my one became damaged and I did try to explain this to a Facebooker who we were talking through Facebook and he noticed I got two of these and um, he asked me why I've got two he called me greedy for having two but the thing is though I did try to explain that this one came damaged the dish tray was loose I did try to glue it and the glue didn't stick well and it kind of went all messy where this one is actually in pretty good nick so Kind of wanted to do this video to explain why I got two season 24 box sets because, as I, as I just said, this one became damaged by Amazon. It's took me a year to try and find one that had that the disc tray wasn't actually knackered and it's and that the box is in perfectly good nick. It's actually took me a perfect year to try and find a decent season 24 box set, which I'm not going to moan. I'm still keeping my original Season 24 box set, you know, it's Sylvester McCoy's first season and Sylvester McCoy is my second favourite Doctor, so I'm definitely keeping the original version that came damaged by Amazon and I'm definitely keeping my new version as well. So that is why I've got Doctor Who The Collection Season 24 twice because one came damaged by Amazon and the other one is in absolutely perfect good nick and i'm very grateful that i managed to find this one in cx only for 28 pounds they did have um the standard ones because in cx and shrewsbury they had literally seasons 10 12 14 18 19 and of course 26 but I'm not really going to focus on these standard releases at the moment. I'm more bothered with these ones. Because these ones you spend a lot more money on. And I was really upset that my season, my original Season 24 came damaged. So I've managed to pick, get my hands on a new one. So I'm keeping the two together. So yeah, that's a little reason why I've got Doctor Who The Collection Season 24 twice. So thank you for watching this video. I'm hoping this video clears things up for fellow collectors it's not me being greedy and stuff it's just my one became damaged by amazon last year when it got posted through to me and i'm really picky i like to try and keep things in really neat condition so to actually find one for 28 pounds it's a bargain and i just had to pick it up 
and it's an absolutely better nick than my one so i'm definitely keeping the two season 24s so they won't be going up to sale i'm literally keeping the two one's the me original which i really can't part with and one's my new one and if i ever get to meet sylvester mccoy again i will probably take both of these seasons for him to sign when he realizes i've got two copies of season tw <laughs> season 24 and now i'm going to get his signature on him he's going to go what the hell's going on with this with this is this guy mentally insane <laughs> <laughs> Rich I am. Don't worry. I'm not a madman with a box just yet. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Am I a madman with a box? We never know, do we? So, yeah, that's a quick video of why I've got two Doctor Who Collections Season 24. So, thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share. And I'm not trying to be really, really sneaky and get two. It's just because my one came damaged and it doesn't look right on the shelf with damage. I mean, my Season 8 box set has got a little bit of a dent on it where Amazon delivered it through, but I'm not too picky on that. But this one, my original one's got like two dents on the side and the dish tray fell out and I had to glue the dish tray back in and it didn't go properly as I did show, yes. And that's what reason why. So thank you for watching. Have a cracking day tomorrow and join for more awesome Doctor Who logics and more updates. Thank you for watching and have a cracking day.